the investigations of 2004 and the vote laws. The ballots that were never counted, we reported this all over the planet, and we could not get this on US TV for anything. We tried, believe me, we tried, and it was simply not permitted. Frankly, I put off writing about the election because like everybody else in the country, if there's a real problem, why isn't it in the newspapers? Nobody had picked up any stories. Um, the only times we'd seen something were a couple articles in the New York Times saying loonies on the internet say that you know votes had been switched, something like that. We were furious. I can see the decline in journalism uh, in the in the Wall Street Journal, especially on the editorial page, and you would have expected the Wall Street Journal to see an opportunity in a story such as the disparity between the exit polls and the vote count that was being neglected by the so-called uh, mainstream or corporate media. There are a lot of reasons why the press has failed us as badly as it has. Uh, one of the major reasons is that there are no independent news operations going anymore. If you rock the boat in any way in a news report, you're going to offend one of the parent companies, or one of its many interests, General Electric owns NBC and so on, and MSNBC, and each of the networks is owned by an enormous corporation. And they have a million huge, powerful advertisers that they have to answer to. How do you counter the incredible amount of money and resources that they have, this e enormous force? The people became the fourth estate. It was the folks on the internet who found a great number of the irregularities that Lord only knows if they would have been discovered at all if it hadn't been for this, this army of citizen patriots who were looking at these things, trying to figure it out. But there's only so much that bloggers and folks on the internet can actually do. We need the mainstream media to get down there, to get on the ground, to talk to officials who won't talk to us, who won't call me back, but who might call the New York Times back, and to find out what actually happened. If we face up to the implications of our democracy having been subverted so deliberately and on such a grand scale, we can't possibly act as if we live in a democracy when we don't.